Hello, boys and girls. It's nice to see you for this week in music. I thought we'd do something different this week, so instead of our usual video, I want you to be musical inventors this week. So your job is to come up or invent your own musical instrument. And I know that might sound a little scary or like something you can't do, but I know you can. And it's a lot simpler than you think. You can either actually make the instrument at home, build it with things from your house or your yard or nature, whatever you want, or you could draw an instrument on a piece of paper, or you could even write about it. Those are our options. So I'm looking forward to seeing all yours. But before that, I want to talk to you about the five instrument families, because there's five instrument families. And I want you, the instrument you come up with to fit into one of those five. The first instrument family we're going to talk about is called the keyboard family. The keyboard family is very simple. If it looks like a piano, it's part of the keyboard family. And by looks like a piano, I mean if it has white keys and black keys. And if it has keys that look like a piano, it's part of the keyboard family. So our first family so far is the keyboard family. The next family I want to talk about is the woodwind family. The woodwind family is an instrument family that you blow into with your mouth. It uses keys and buttons and either uses a reed like the clarinet does or it has an opening like a flute or you could use like if you blew on a water bottle that would make it a woodwind instrument. So I'll just play this real quick. That's what a woodwind instrument sounds like. So, so far we have two families. We have the keyboard family and the woodwind family. The next family I want to talk to you about is called the Brass Family. The Brass Family is the family of instruments, like the wooden family that you blow into, but you have to do something special when you blow into the Brass Family. You have to do what's called buzzing, and you have to buzz your lips by going... So if I just blow into this like this, no sound. But if I take my lips and I buzz them, it makes a sound. So that's the brass family. So, so far we have the keyboard family, the woodwind family, the brass family. The next family I want to talk to you about is the string family. Instruments like the guitar or the violin are part of the string family. What do you think would make something part of the string family? That's right, if it has strings. So if I told my guitar up here, you can see it's got these strings here. And if you play a string, you can see that it shakes and vibrates. And when that string vibrates, it makes the sound. And that's how we have the string family. So, so far we have the keyboard family, the woodwind family, the brass family, the string family. I said there was five and we have one more and that's called the percussion family. The percussion family is any instrument that you hit, shake, or scrape. In school, any drums or the xylophones are all percussion instruments. I don't have a lot of percussion instruments at my house, but I do have this bass drum. And it has this, this is a mallet like we have on a xylophone, but it's attached to a foot pedal. So normally I'd play it on the ground with my foot, but it's played by hitting it. And it makes a drum sound. So that's one example of a percussion instrument. And the next example is a tambourine. A tambourine is an instrument you shake. So that is another percussion family. So we have five families, the keyboard, the woodwind, the brass, the string, and the percussion. So I have two examples for us today. I call this the bike tire box drum. It's a, an instrument I made using a bike tire that was flat and I need to put a new one on my bike and a box. So what I did is I wrapped the tie around the box so there's a loose one. And you can see I can pull that one far, nice and easy. And then there's a tight one 
that doesn't pull us clock. So I can sit on my lap and let it hit the box and it makes two drum sounds. So that is my bike's tire box drum. The next instrument I came up with is one I drew the plans for. I call it the musical mustache. It's a woodwind instrument, but it's got two sides. And you play it in your mouth like a clarinet mouthpiece. And that goes to the two sides, so it looks like you have a very big mustache. So that's why I call it the musical mustache. And you play it by blowing into it and covering the holes with your fingers. So I'm very excited to see your instruments and what you guys come up with. I think it's going to be great. Remember, you can make a real instrument. You could draw a picture of your instrument. Or you could even just write about what your instrument is and what it would look and sound like. Any of those sound great to me. But remember, it's going to fit one of the five families. It's either going to be a keyboard instrument, which means it looks like a piano. That would be a tough one to make unless you draw it. You could definitely draw it, but not all of us have an access to make a piano at home. A woodwind instrument, which is an instrument you blow air into and has buttons you cover. A brass instrument, which is an instrument that you blow into but you buzz your lips. Um, a string instrument, which is an instrument that has strings. Or a percussion instrument, instrument you hit, shake, or scrape. So I'm really looking forward to seeing your ideas. Have as much fun as you can doing this, and I will see you all next week. Remember to fill out the Google form, and I hope I to see you at our specialist Google Meet, which you can find in your Google Calendar. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a good week.